Alex, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my eyebrow routine. Obviously, I haven't done them yet. Imagine if you guys thought that I did and you're just like, probably not gonna watch this one. Oh uh, no, I haven't done them yet because I'm going to show you how I do them in detail because I feel like in a lot of my makeup tutorials, I kind of skip over it or skip it entirely. So I thought I would do a sole video showing you exactly how I do my brows in detail. Even though it's not very fancy, I just thought I'd show you the products I use, how I do it and some tips and tricks, I guess if I have any, we'll see how I go. So let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing I do before I do anything on my eyebrows is brush them out with a spoolie. This is just an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz spoolie. I haven't got any left, otherwise I would be using the pencil quite obviously. So I just brush them out, get them into place. And for the pencil that I'm using today, I'm gonna to be using this gorgeous cosmetics one. Probably can't even see that. Mm. There it is. Um, I got sent this and they only have one color by the looks of it, but it was the perfect color for me and I needed it. So I started using it and I actually really, really like it. So I'm gonna be using that. So since my hair is a lot lighter now, obviously I do try and stick to like a light ashy blonde color, but this one's kind of like the medium, not too light, not too dark. If you know what I mean, I like the in the middle because I do like my eyebrows to be a little bit darker than my hair. So that's what I'm using. And instead of starting at the bottom of my eyebrow, I always shape the top first and then I just kind of fill in the bottom. I do have my eyebrows tattooed as well, so if you want me to do a video talking about my experience with all that, I can do that if you're interested, like the cost wise and the pain level and stuff like that. But I still like to fill them in because I'm extra like that. I'm just using the spoolie again just to like blend everything out. Now towards the start of my eyebrow, I'm going to be taking this brow powder. This is just like a really cheap BYS, like $6.95 brow powder. Um, it's just a really good color and I like the applicator on it. Just looks like that. So it's really precise and it's just really easy to use. So I'm gonna be using that on the inside of my eyebrow just so it's a little bit lighter than a heavy, like waxy pencil. I start from the bottom when I do the start of my eyebrows. See, if that happens, just get a beauty blender and I clean it up, but I don't have one with me, so I'm just gonna use my finger. And now I'm just flicking it up lightly. Cause I'm trying not to do the square brow. <laughs> and I'm just feathering it through the rest of my brow. Now I'm going to take the spoolie again, when I'm in focus, there we go, and just brush all of that out. After this I'll always apply some brow highlight underneath my brow, but I've already got that on so I'm not going to be putting any more on. Once that is done, I'm going to be setting it in place with this Maybelline Brow Drama Transparence um, Brow Setting stuff. That was a big description. So it's just like a transparent um, brow mascara, basically. Uh, it's not the best, but it does the job, so. I definitely want to try some other brands. Just so I can make my eyebrow really stick there all day, you know? And 
And that is pretty much it. I'm gonna do the other brow and then I'll be right back. First, here's the difference really quick. So you can see this one's just a bit more full, a little bit darker and just looks nicely shaped. And there we go, that is my eyebrows all done. It's really simple and quick. There's not a lot of steps to it and it just makes a nice difference, I think. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Also, let me know if you wanna see a mascara tutorial. I know that's weird, but I feel like in a lot of my videos as well, I skip through that. And if you saw my before and after of my lashes, I think it would be pretty interesting to see like actually how long it takes me to do my mascara so if you want to see that like an in-depth tutorial and all the little things that I do to get them as long and full as I try and do um, let me know in the comments because I would love to do that for you but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to thumbs it up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me I post new videos every single week and until then hopefully I will see you in my next one